So let me tell you about tasks in Time Planner app. First of all, task is just something that needs to be done, or it is the component of the list, or it is a small step that you have broken down the big activity to. And let me show you how it works within the app. So we can create a new task in Control tab or in Login tab, tapping on big plus button on bottom left and choose task. And let's say my friend just told me about the cool author called Stephen Covey that has really nice books. And I'll choose the category for this task, books. And I'll add the mark, the green mark, just for future reference. And I won't adjust anything else. I'll just save this single task. And here it is in Control tab in books category, here. And now let's move on to something more global. So we go to presentation category and as you can see I have the like lots of tasks in here. So let's say today my boss made me happy again and he told me I have to prepare the speech for the summit. So I use this button to add the new task right to this category. So I write it down. It is speech for summit. I have it preset already and it's very very important so I choose the red mark for it. I save this task and you can see it in the bottom because here I have set adding to bottom. And now I'm thinking about this task. Hmm, I need to break it down in pieces. So first of all that I would need for my speech definitely for my presentation for this speech are the pictures. Yeah, they are very important. And I choose the level of offset because it is the subtask. And I save it and you can see it is the subtask. And now I'm thinking, hmm, I'll also need some quotes for this presentation, for my speech. Two quotes. And it is also the subtask and I save it. By the way, I can change the offset manually, just long pressing on the task and move it in slightly to the right in my case. Now it is the subtask of the subtask. Or moving it to the left, right? But I'll leave it as it were. And also I can long press and change the order of the tasks, just like this. And now I'm thinking about the quotes and decide that one of them should be humorous so people won't die during my presentation because of boredom. And I'll choose the second level of the offset because it is the subtask of the subtask. And I use the add one more button. I tap on it and I create this task and I have the new task dialog again. So my next quote should be philosophical. Yeah, because I'm a serious person, right? And I save it and add one more. And actually, I would need also the key concept. How could I forgot about that? Key concept for my presentation and I save it. And as you can see, I should change the level of offset to subtask. So it will be nice and neat. By the way, now we can actually do whatever we like with this task list. We can mark something as done, as completed. And if we mark something as completed that has a subtask, all the subtasks will be marked as completed as well. Also, we can mark as uncompleted. We can delete something and bring it back if we need to. We can change the order I showed it. Um, and by the way, if you mark as completed the whole big task with subtasks, it will be actually put to completed section of the task list and you can bring it back like this. And also let us do the main thing. It is planning of the task. But before that, I wanted to highlight that there are two approaches, two ways of planning. First is from the time to the task. It is when you have like four hours before lunch to do your job responsibilities and you decide what things are the most important for this moment. It is from time to task. And also there is another approach from task to time. So when you have the exact thing that needs to be done and you have to 
make it squeeze into your schedule. It is my case for now, so I'll tap on Speech for Summit task in order to edit it, and I will schedule this task. If I tap on this pin button, I can pin it to the activity that I already have, but I'll create the new schedule of activity. And let's say I'll start at 8.30 p.m. and go for an hour, okay. And I'll just save this activity, save the task, and can see it right here. It is Speech for Summit scheduled for today. And right now I'm done and you have great time planning and implementing as well.